So a question was posted on the Facebook group a couple of days ago about how can we start to use less plugins, less reliance upon third party plugins to do some of the key things that we need, especially with tools like ACF, custom post types and so on. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use custom post type UI to set up the basics of our custom post types and our custom taxonomies, and then how we can just remove that plugin, add the code in where relevant, and then we no longer need to have that plugin installed and keeping it up to date. If you're interested, join me and I'm going to take you through doing all that right now. So I've got a couple of post types, a couple of taxonomies set up with CPT UI. Let's have a quick squiz at exactly what I've got. So if we edit our post types, you can see I've got vehicles and dealerships. If we open one of these up to take a look, it's a typical post type. You know, you've got the normal things you'd expect to see there. And if we take a look at the taxonomies and edit those, you can see I've got manufacturers set up as a taxonomy. So everything is set up exactly how I need it to be. Everything is in place. Okay, so now we can go about finding out how we get access to that code. So if we come into the tool section, You'll see underneath the different tabs we have at the top, we've got get code as a tab. I'm going to click on there and each of our taxonomies, each of our custom post types has an entry inside there. You can see each one tells you what's going on. So dealership post type, if we come down and take a look inside there, all of the settings we need to be able to create that custom post type, a custom taxonomy, whatever it is, are all available. So all we need to do is simply copy the information out of here, paste that into a text editor if you have multiple different entries just to make your life a little easier. I've already gone ahead and done that. Next up, we're going to access the functions PHP file for the actual theme that we're working with. Now, there's various different ways you can do it, but for me, just for ease, I'm going to come into the appearance and theme editor option, which isn't the way I would recommend doing it, because if you use it this way and you cause a problem with your functions PHP file, your site potentially could crash. Then you'd have to go in and mess about to try to get that information back. I always recommend going through either an FTP or through the file manager that's part of your hosting account. Just do it this way for speed. So making sure that I've got the theme selected, we're going to come over to the right hand side and choose theme functions, which opens up the functions PHP file. And all we're going to do is scroll down to the bottom, make sure there's an extra couple of spaces in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply copy and paste the information out of my text file. So there's all of those custom post types, taxonomies and so on. So I'm going to simply copy this. We're going to drop this then into the functions PHP file. So I'll just paste that inside there, update our file. Now nothing will happen when we update this, it'll save it. So we can come in now and we can simply go into our plugins, come into the install plugin section, find custom post type UI and deactivate it. Now we've deactivated it. We've still got vehicles, we've still got our custom taxonomies, all those things are there, dealerships and so on. And if we open up vehicles and take a look inside there, you can see all of the post type information is available. We come in and edit any of these, you can see all the data is available. So we can come in, we can see all the ACF fields are set up in there. We've got manufacturers, which is a taxonomy. We can still select all that. So everything is there. We can now, if you want to, easily delete custom post type UI. We then have one less plugin to deal with and one less plugin to update. All of the data we need is inserted into our functions PHP file. So that's a crazy simple way of getting rid of plugins that we don't need, especially when we've set up the custom post types and the custom taxonomies. We no longer need that reliance upon custom post type UI. Did you find this useful? Could you see yourself using it? Let me know in that comment section below. As always, all the applicable links for everything covered in this video are down in that description. My name is Paul C. This has been WP Tuts. Until next time, take care.